From the studios of WFAN, this is Mike Zahn, Francesca on the fan on this uh, Monday as we open up our December Mondays after a, another wild day uh, in the National Football League. Uh, the Robbie Cano press conference tomorrow. The press releases are going out in a minute. Uh, Robbie, tomorrow. Uh, be a lot of Mets in the next couple of days. A lot going on. We'll get to all that. Uh, but Cano will be front and center tomorrow. Uh, so that will uh, be a big part of your Tuesday. Eli Manning later today after the Giants had a wild win. Mistake filled crazy game would have been on another in a long line of heartbreaking defeats if it had ended up this that way it didn't they win the game in overtime probably didn't think they would i probably didn't think they would either there were a couple of things that happened yesterday have to admit i wouldn't have, i would have kicked the field goal up 3 on the fourth down. They came up with a really imaginative play. It worked. I'm telling you right now. I admit it right here. I would have kicked the field goal. I thought it was a bad play. I thought they were going to not get there. They got it. They get the touchdown to Beckham. So I give them credit for that. So, you know, kudos there. Um, didn't understand some of the stuff in the first half. Uh, really didn't. That give up run that turned into the 22 yarder and then the Eli nine yard pass really did change things. It gave the Giants a big lift. And also the Giants did some very different things in the second half to negate the pass rush. Basically, they ran at them, which was a very good way to attack the pass rush. I'm surprised they didn't think of it in the first half. They didn't. Eli was getting run over the entire first half. Uh, but they did in the second half. They made enough plays, made a couple of gadget plays, obviously the Beckham touchdown that everyone gets so excited about. And they go on to a uh, hard-fought overtime win uh, that was anything, anything but easy. And it would have been tough to sit here and had that loss on top of the Philly loss. Because you know what? Right now in this giant season, it's become even more frustrating to me because I think of what might have been. And I'm not getting to games where it was a play here, a play there, the typical thought of every NFL week. No, I'm thinking about the bomb of a field goal 63 yards that that Gano makes when I watch him miss a 52 yarder to win a game he makes a 63 yarder to win a game losing an eagle game that you lead 19-3 and then yesterday if you just give give the Giants back the two games Philly and Carolina they're 6-6 six and six. they're right in the middle of Everything. It's a completely different thought process, season. People still aren't asking about the letter, which is just ridiculous. People, you know, asking at halftime, you're going to change the quarterback. Is it? What are you watching? He's they're flattening the quarterback in the first half. Every time he turned around, they were flattening him. Oh, we've changed the only thing. Giant, a lot of people covering Giants are not going to be happy until they put somebody else in a quarterback just so they can see somebody else there. That's what it comes down to. And how about the people who wanted to cash their season at one and seven? Hey, they're four and eight. They should be five and seven. I'll even take that. Split the baby. Five and seven. Five and seven right now. And you know what? They're still thinking of possibly having a run here. They've won three of their last four, and you could easily give them back one of those two. They beat beat a team yesterday. It doesn't have its quarterback to be fair. Very fair. And it wasn't easy, that's for sure. But they did, and they overcame some things to get it done. To me, they made a ton of mistakes yesterday. They did some things that make you shake your head, but they also look like a football team. And we'll get to all that. In recent weeks, I have not spent any time talking about the Jets, and here's why. Because to me, this season was about one thing. It was about getting your franchise quarterback from year one to year two. That's it. And I don't know what the Jets' brain trust 
And right now I use it extremely, extremely liberally. What are they thinking? There's no reason in the world that Sam shouldn't play yesterday. No reason. I watched him walk on the field. I watched him walk into the locker room after the game. And I think what's happening here is McCagnan is managing the games now to just get the games where Sam's going to look good. I really believe that. No, not this defense, that defense. Okay, we'll play him this week. We'll play him. We'll play him that week. We'll play him this week. We'll play Don't cherry pick this thing. Play the games. Let him play the games. This was about him. Bowles was sacrificed at the altar this year by putting a rookie quarterback in. If you were going to try and keep him as quarterback, you were going to go with a veteran quarterback. Once you put a rookie quarterback in, you knew what was going to happen with a team that has the level of talent that the Jets have. They were not going to win. It was not going to happen. It was not going to happen. So this season has always been about him. And now the Jets have completely lost their way because now their games are worthless. Because it's about developing that quarterback. That's what this whole year has been about. And he can't develop them from the bench. And maybe he had a foot sprain, maybe he didn't. Maybe they thought he needed a week off, that's fine. They didn't want to play him against the Pats, I understand it. Put him back in and let him play the games. We know Bowles is gone, we know that staff is gone. And if they weren't, they've sure played themselves out the door. See, this is what the Jets don't get. And this is what their fan base can't deal with. When something happens that should be objectionable, Fans expect their franchise to react. When McAdoo messed things up, he paid with his job. When Mike McCarthy put it, and Mike McCarthy was leaving at the end of the season, we all knew it. But when, it, when he put a team on the field yesterday that gave up 45 points to Arizona, I mean to, to the Chargers last week, 45 unanswered points, and then walked into Green Bay and beat the Packers, I tweeted, rest in peace. I didn't know Mike was going to pay that day. I knew he was going to pay at the end of the season. Now, when you do that, it usually is two things. Mutual. Let me get a new start. You get a new start. You can have your press conference today, which the Packers already did. You can start your plan, and you can start interviewing. You can start thinking about it. You can be open. You're not sneaking around. And I can go and think about, I can feel phone calls. I can start talking to guys about a staff. So it allows Mike to operate, and it allows the Packers to operate. That's the reason they do it. No other reason. It's not that Mike's fighting with Aaron Rodgers and all this silly stuff. It's because it just gives them both a chance to operate freely without looking like they're operating behind somebody's back. Mike McCarthy won a Super Bowl there. He was there 13 years. They were not going to treat him like that. I guarantee you this was very mutual. He probably liked having the month off. His resume's already, his resume's not going to be decided by this year. We know what his resume is. And yes, they've lost the last couple of years with the best quarterback in the sport, which is not easy, but he has been banged up both years. And he's played hurt this year. First thing I would do, to be honest with you, I would sit him down for the rest of the season. I won't play him anymore. A, it would improve your draft pick, and B, what are you trying to prove with him? He's not himself. I would would sit him. I'd send him home for the rest of the season. It's four weeks, send him home. But we'll get to the Packers. We'll get to the Steelers who lost a game that I never thought I'd see in my lifetime. Uh, And a lot of the things that went on in the league and a lot more on the Giants and the Jets and Cano and the Heisman and Alabama, Georgia and everything else right after this.